Welcome to SGN Tech Forum. Today we are going to start a new series called Cisco Thousand Eyes. And this is not the very first time we are talking about this topic. Previously on SGN Tech Forum, uh, a year back, I gave you a glimpse of what is Thousand Eyes, how, uh, what are the different components of it, and everything. So how this video is going to be different, right? So this is not a single video, but this is a boot camp. That means we are going to talk in extensively about Thousand Eyes. And luckily, I was able to secure a fresh account, a trial account, and we will use that trial account. We will do the first time setup and then start creating our agents, start creating our test alerts and everything. So end to end, we will test in this bootcamp. So here is the agenda. Introduction to Cisco Thousand Eyes. Then what are the different Thousand Eyes agent types? And from here onwards, I'm going to call Thousand Eyes as a TE for short. So TE agent types. And then we will understand various type of test and how you can run them using TE agents. Then we will talk about other features like network insight, device layer, and we will see how you can analyze result, some of the advanced feature, and finally conclusion. So this is going to be opening video. And from there on, we will break it down into various uh, topics like shown here. We will discuss agent types. We will discuss various type of test and everything we will build it from scratch. So totally greenfield. So this is like a, one of the rare opportunity because if you are in two operations, you may uh, get an account, Thousand Eyes account, which is already set. You may have some tests running, agents there. So uh, this bootcamp is going to give you a 360 degree experience how uh, this thing work, right? So let's understand uh, some of the high level thing real quick. Introduction to Thousand Eyes, Cisco Thousand Eyes or TE is a powerful network performance monitoring and testing platform designed to help organization gain visibility into their workload and application performance. So the purpose for Thousand Eyes is it runs synthetic test using agent and it can give you a visibility into your network, observability into your network as well as into internet. Today, internet is kind of like a uh, black box for us, right? You It provides connectivity, but we don't know, uh, unless you do the trace routes, uh, we don't know for sure what path we are taking and what is the performance metrics looks like, everything. So Thousand Eyes has this uh, immense uh, benefit or having a, a real state of agents deployed into worldwide service provider and you can use those agent, you can loan those agent to run your test cases and get visibility into your network end to end, even within the internet. And that's the power of this solution. So in this bootcamp, a tutorial will give you the overview, will show you how to um, uh, set test, how to create agent and everything. Thousand Eyes agent types. So as I mentioned, there are multiple types of agent uh, into within Thousand Eyes and you will see when we log in and start creating our agent. To name a few, we have three types of agent. First is called cloud agent. Those are deployed within service provider networks. Then we have enterprise agent. That means those agent uh, you can run on Cisco Catalyst 9K, on VMware or on a Linux box. Right, so or even a Docker container. So enterprise agent, cloud agent, and then the finally you have a small, very lightweight agent called endpoint agent that you can install on any Windows or Mac laptop and collect uh, stats about your local environment, run test to certain destination and uh, various other things. So we will understand what are the different type of agents and when you are going to use one or other right so cloud agents are virtual agent that are hosted in public environments such as aws azure uh, enterprise agents are hardware based agent that are deployed within the corporate network and endpoint agents are software based agent that means it's a client application installed on the end user devices and what is the use of it all of these 
provide you visibility into uh, your network and performance metrics. Creating and running test. First step of using TE is to create and run test. Once you have the agents available, obviously the end goal or the purpose of those agents is to run test. Uh, test can be configured to measure performance metrics such as latency, packet loss, and throughput. They can also be configured to measure application performance such as page load time and response time. So not only uh, packet loss, latency, and jitter, you can also monitor your applications. Right. Once the tests are configured, they can run manually or you can schedule them. The result of the test are then displayed on easy uh, to understand dashboard. So it has very intuitive dashboard. You can uh, watch your uh, test, how they are doing and filter and everything. So uh, at the same time, we'll talk about alerting. So you can, uh, if you don't want to use, use dashboard heavily, you can actually use alerting or webhook mechanism to get the test alert somewhere else, right? Then we are talking about one of the other feature. Uh, this is a fairly new feature called TE device layer. And device layer feature provide user with a detailed view of their network devices and how they are performing. So it gives you a view about your network uh, devices and their performance metrics. This feature allow user to monitor performance of individual devices such as routers, switches, firewalls, and identify any issues that may be impacting their network. So by now, you may have understand that device performance you're getting, that means you must, uh, you have to rely on something, right? So what is the something here? The something is he, here is classical MP, uh, SNMP. So it is SNMP based monitoring, basically. Network Insight. This is another feature. This is a kind of like a fairly new feature again. And this is advanced feature that licensing requirement. And we will talk about licensing uh, when we take a deep dive or a boom, uh, go to hands on. But for Network Insight, you also need licenses uh, separately from your uh, test cases. So what is Network Insight? The feature allow user to gain deeper insight into their network performance by analyzing the result of their test, uh, identify root cause. So it is wrapping some context behind um, the issues or metrics what you're getting, right? So uh, th this is very powerful. It, you can use it, say, with SD-WAN and et cetera. So we will be doing some of this Network Insight as well. Now, analyzing result. Running test cases is one thing, but then you are getting test results. So how you can use this uh, result, right? So we will talk about how to create a dashboard and uh, how to uh, read through the time series uh, graph. That means you can go back, say, seven days or 24 days back and then try to correlate with your issue versus test result and you can also export these results in csv or pdf you can also share as a snapshot so you can create a url which is uh, globally uh, available that mean if you are facing some issues with circuit you can just uh, create a snapshot of your test result and share it with the, your uh, service provider and they can simply open it and understand what's going into it right so without any uh, without any kind of uh, prior agreement or token exchange, you can simply share the URL-based results. Advanced feature, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we can do a lot, network insight, device layer, BGP prefix test, and all those things. This is kind of evolving every now and then new features are coming, but we'll focus on what is available today and uh, talk about everything. This should give you enough confidence uh, around this, around this product, right? Finally, the conclusion uh, conclusion is Thousand Eyes is very much appreciated by uh, customers because all of a sudden you have insight into internet path, you have observability, you have visibility, observability for your application, visibility into your network. So it is unlocking a lot of new use cases, say uh, SD-WAN, and uh, utilizing the internet, uh, uh, relying on that more and more for business applications and also faster troubleshooting. So we will see how Thousand Eyes is going to help 
us with new you enable us with the new use cases help us with the troubleshooting we'll see everything in the upcoming video so stay tuned with me uh, this is going to be exciting journey and i'll look forward uh, to be with you throughout thank you